Hi guys, so I am going to be doing a get ready with me video and this is going to be, I mean I usually do quick makeup videos if it's involving the whole face because I'm always in a rush and today is no exception. I'm going to give myself about 10 minutes to do my makeup. I wash my face and apply my moisturizer. Oh and I am trying out natural sunlight so let me know what you guys think. Um, so let's get started shall we okay so today i'm gonna have lunch with the girls aka my mom my grandmother and my sister uh ava bear can't come because unfortunately dogs cannot go to restaurants um but that's okay she'll be with all her toys and things uh the foundation i'm using is the maybelline superstay in classic beige um I really wish these would come with a pump. I saw, I was watching a makeup video and the person had mentioned that you could get bottles with pumps, um, empty bottles with pumps and you could put your own. But I just, I've tried transferring foundations and I just feel like it's always a mess and you never get all the products. So I just wish Maybelline would come with a pump or if there, I should look for if there are uh, just the top pumps that kind of fit this size and I'm using did I already mention I'm using the elf powder brush okay so I need a lot of coverage because I didn't sleep very well and I had a bad breakout last week that's healing now so that's like all this over here and down here so I love this foundation because it provides so much coverage and it just it just looks nice on the skin. So that was just one touch of that and I'm going to need something for the under eye. I'm using the L'Oreal True Match. This one is in W4 to 5. Oh sorry, it's not a burp but to get the word out and I like my I've said this before um, but I like my concealer to match the rest of my skin so that's why I I don't I don't really like the brightening look for me anyway uh, sometimes I will do that but most of the time I'll just stick with a concealer that matches my skin tone Next, I am going to use the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. Yeah. I am using this Makeup Forever Kabuki brush that came with this set that I had. It was an awesome deal. You got the foundation, the brush, a decent sound, decent size powder for $70. I know, I think it increased now actually. Oh, and you got the primer, face primer too. Um, but now I believe it has increased. But this brush is pretty good. It's small, but it works pretty well okay and then the last step for the face I don't know why I said it like that uh, is going to be the blush and I am using the Milani baked blush in Bella Rose Rosa I the I had mentioned in my video that it looked like it was gonna be easy to blend but I was sort of wrong you need a really flimsy kind of lightweight brush this one is perfect although I shouldn't be telling you about it it's, it's I don't think Sonia Kashuk, Kashuk makes this brush anymore but it's really like just has a lot of movement so you need a brush that's easy, that moves well um, it's not stiff and it doesn't collect a lot of products so I just barely tap my brush in there I'm not sure if you can see that but that's even a little too much uh, always start with little and then you can work it up so I'll just show you so just okay that's enough so this blush is really pretty I like it it's the one that I've been reaching for a lot um, and oh, I want to show you that Pin up peach color whisper how uh, that looks as well it's a really pretty color for the, for the spring I 
feel like this formula though is a little different from the other ones it's a bit more greasy feeling uh, so hopefully they're not all like that but this is a very pretty color now for my eyes what I've been doing when I'm in a rush is taking my Maybelline ultra liner this one is amazing it's waterproof um, and it stays on my lid it's amazing I've had I've used this product for a very long time but like once you start getting into collecting makeup you just are always on the search for like the next great thing uh, but this is really really amazing the only thing is that it as it starts getting older it kind of loose when you put it on your eye you could just basically take the edge of your the eyeliner and just pull it right off so you have to be careful not to rub your eye and I like to usually put my mascara on first so that's what I'm going to do because if you push if you use the mascara if you use the curler uh, after you put on the eyeliner it, it'll take some of it off so just that's just a warning and it's a beautiful day outside today it was raining literally all day I don't remember the last time it rained that hard and it wasn't just like puny little sprinkle of rain it was downpouring and i'm on a block that is kind of on a hill it's it's not a hill but just kind of like a incline or that decline <laughs> um and all the water goes down i i don't know how the drains didn't over flood but they didn't but what happens is the water you can't get to your car unless it's in the driveway because the water is so high and so thick um it's just crazy i wish i could take a picture to show it to you guys but i didn't think to do that okay so i'm gonna put a pretty thick line because this is the only thing i'm gonna put on today on my eyes anyway And I'm not going to wing it out or anything. I'm just trying to keep this really simple. Okay, and sometimes I like to really get in to the lashes just so that my lashes look a little thicker and it doesn't look like there's like a line separating your lashes from your eyelid okay and I'm gonna just put another coat of mascara on that is the look I'm under 10 minutes and this is the look that I would do if I was in a type of if I was in any type of rush to get out of the house or if I was feeling lazy but I still want to apply my makeup like this would be my base makeup and of course it would take a little bit longer if I had time because I would do more with the eye but everything else basically would stay the same so I hope you guys enjoyed it let me just back up a little bit so you guys could see the full effect here and I think that's all I'm gonna say for now so I hope you guys are doing well and I'll talk to you soon bye